Okay, so pardon me while I rock. I've got the baby, so the first time I tried to do this, he woke up screaming about two minutes in, and then the second time I had him back here, and then my husband called, so I had to stop again, so let's try to record part two again. Um, okay, so paperwork. I had a sign-in agreement for criminal background investigation. I had a sign agreement um, that medical and psychological information from the doctors that I'm going to be seeing in, in LA um, w can be sent to um, the agency. I had a sign one saying that uh, basically it was like the same thing. It says, um, I hereby authorize um, these counseling services to send a copy of the psychological clearance letter and or test reports to the doctors, agencies, and individuals listed below. And it says, growing generations, blah, blah, blah. The informed consent agreement, which I'm not going to go into all of that, but basically it's just, just like, some of it's common knowledge sort of thing. Like, I acknowledge that pregnancy is a risky thing, no matter if it's your baby or somebody else's baby. I could have a horrible, horrible delivery and that has nothing to do with them. I can't sue them for making me have some horrible delivery or anything. It just kind of comes with the game. So that, um, a privacy, a privacy practice is acknowledgement form. Um, uh, basically it's a HIPAA. If any of you, sorry, I have got like hair in my mouth. Um, if any of you have like worked at a hospital, you know what HIPAA is. Um, it's just like a patient and privacy act. Um, and it's just that whatever goes to them will stay with them. No one can call up and be like, hey, I was just wondering how Michelle's uh, medical evaluation came back. So, I have a cat outside meowing too. It's just a good day. Okay, and then the other one is just, it says a California notice form and basically it just says, um, I may use or disclose your protected health information for certain treatment, payment, and health care operation purposes without your authorization in certain circumstances, blah, blah, blah. For instance, um, like child abuse, wherever I, in my professional capacity, have acknowledged or observe a child I know or reasonably suspect has been a victim of child abuse or neglect, I must immediately report such a police thing, blah, blah, blah. That's part of, since they're in California, they have to abide by California law. So, um, if they saw, I don't know why they would ever see Cody, but if they saw Cody and he was, like, bruised up, he, they have to report that maybe I'm a little psycho. Maybe, like, how it came back on my yeah. test or something. So, um, they have to cover that. Or, we covered that. Um, it's, like, there we go, five pages long. And then, um, gestational surrogacy, a financial guidelines booklet. Um, this is, like, my copy. I don't need to send this anywhere. This isn't all it. Hang on, let me, um, cut that. Or not cut it, but let me, <laughs> let me, uh, see where it ends. Um, geez, sorry, guys. I'm kind of, like, one and a half handed right now. Okay, so, I'm not going to read all of this, obviously, but, growing generations, blah, 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 financial, blah, 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 and it says, like, how you're accountable for stuff, um, how I receive compensation payment, what do I do if I receive a bill that hasn't been paid for, um, it just kind of tells you, like, hey, baby, it's okay, it just kind of tells you, like, how to, like, how to go about that, it also, um, shows, like, exactly like what I'm going to be making and stuff which I'm not going to show but anyways so it goes over that and then I also have all these papers like um this one surrogate outside expense form can't see that at all really but basically like um if I had to do something and I needed compensation for it a form similar for lost wages um Receipt of services, um, GE, GS, gestational surrogate med start fee, um, transfer fee, confirmation of pregnancy. I send these in after each one and then I get my money back or, or the money 
they break it off in allotments, you know, and they have like a certain amount. Like when the conf when the pregnancy is confirmed, you get this much. When this happens, you get this much. That sort of thing. So, um, yeah. Um, a paper for when I am in my first day of my second trimester, I say the amount due, singleton twins or triplets, um, you know, you get like a certain amount for maternity clothes if you're having a single, that sort of thing. Um, housekeeping allowance, I won't be using this because I'm fine, my husband can do it if we need it, I just don't see the point in making them pay extra. Um, maternity leave request, um... Final pregnancy compensation. So if I delivered at maybe 36 weeks and let's say that um, they hadn't paid in full yet, I'd say I'm still old, owed $200 or you know, whatever. So do that. Invasive procedure compensation. If I have to have anything like amniocentesis. It's okay, baby. Amniocentesis done or anything like that. Just um, a drop cycle fee. There's just tons of pages. Um, anyways, that's pretty much the paperwork that I got. I have to fill it all in. I have to send the other... Oh, you just want to talk. Do you want to be on camera? Here, you little ham. Go ahead, talk. You can help vlog. Anyways, um... So I just have to turn, on, turn on all that paperwork, get all my birth control, hope it works, hope I stop being screwed up, and then, uh, I'm thinking probably in about a month or so I will be in, um, Los Angeles, uh, getting all that done. So anyways, um, take care guys, bye.